sure to check out Agile's Geeks for your figures and collectibles. So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Derek of 18 here and today we're going to be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys Kickstarter Modern Spawn. So let's get into it right away and take a very quick look at the box. Spawn, 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 spawn. Right, so you already saw the front of the slipcover. Nothing on the back and the one side. And then the other side does have spawn in much larger letters. Then you can remove the slipcover. There's the front of the actual box. The bottom, the top, nothing on the sides, and then nothing on the back and then you can swing this open here and then right here it has the other accessories which I already took out and then we do have the actual packaging so let me get that out and show you that quickly and then here is the actual packaging it would have the figure there we do have the comic book in the back and you can open it and reseal it as well which is definitely pretty cool and I do dig the old school 90s look of the packaging so that is the packaging for the modern version spawn let's get this figure open even though i already have it open take a closer detailed look at the figure already taking a closer detailed look and visually this is a beautiful looking figure mcfarlane toys did a phenomenal job with the paint and sculpt detail on this one thing i'm not a fan of is the cape i know a lot of people aren't too happy with it it's such a big clunky heavy piece of plastic that really restricts a ton of of articulation on the figure it just restricts you from doing a lot of things with this figure that you can do with the figure but you can't because of the cape another thing is the cape isn't removable so that is pretty damn disappointing as well but since we're talking about the cape it is beautifully shaded the sculpt of it looks fantastic it's a, it's a really nice looking plastic cape but just not my cup of tea you know what i mean but uh like i said it, it it does resemble like what the original one did look like, so do appreciate that. Just wish it was removable like the original as well. The head sculpt here, this thing looks so dope. The lace face one, I think it's called. Love the way this looks. Beautiful paint on that. The sculpting of it looks great. I love the green for the eyes. There's some red for blood. Just really nice looking. Another weird thing is he sculpted the neck in such an odd way, you really can't have him look to the right. So that's another odd thing. Same with how the torso is sculpted. I don't mind this as much as this. Because you can't really have them look to the right. Or if you do, it's going to look a, a bit odd. Another thing I do like is the real chains that he ended up putting on there. That's definitely cool. And then the ones down here as well. This skull symbol looks dope. Sort of these right there. The torso looks great. Very nice sculpt and paint on that. I love the shading. On the white, that looks fantastic. Very nice job on the arms. We do got the spiked band around the right bicep. Then we do get this uh, gauntlet piece, which looks sick, man. Love the wash in there as well. And then the legs here. Very nice sculpt and uh, paint detail where there is paint. Love the pouches with the gold buttons on there. This looks pretty cool. And then we do get the big boot piece here, which looks dope also. These are sharp, so be careful of that and of course yes that will restrict some articulation but overall the, the the paint and sculpt detail phenomenal job no question about it do i wish a thing or two was done differently yeah but for what it is and what we got i, I definitely do dig the figure and i think the detail turned out incredible but anyway let's continue on moving on to the accessories spawn is included with a pretty damn good amount of stuff so what we do get first and foremost we do get the McFarlane stand here says record setting action figure and then spawn from 94 to 2021 and there's a peg on it in case you want to use this for your figure so we do get that and then we do get two interchangeable awesome head sculpts and starting on the left there we do get the lace face head sculpt I believe it was called and that one definitely my favorite out of the two they did such a sick job with that head sculpt there. That looks so freaking dope, man. And then on the right, we get the unmasked Al Simmons head, which also looks fantastic. I love the green for the eyes on both head sculpts, and I like the shading that they did on the Al Simmons head sculpt right there. Really nice job with that. I mean, incredible job on both head sculpts. One thing that's awesome about this figure is the head sculpts and the hands are so easy to swap out, and I'll show you how to do that with the head sculpts right now quickly. And as I mentioned, the heads are very simple to swap on these figures, so you just gotta pull up. Yeah, yeah. More difficult to do it on camera. You just gotta pull up on the head and it'll pop 
right off as you can see there then take the other head sculpt and just push down and then there you go as simple as that but with the unmasked one there's always like a little tiny gap uh, right on the front right here so I don't know if that's just with my figure or if other people have that issue as well but I thought it was going to be so difficult to swap the head sculpts because of the collar of the cape but it's it's very simple to do so we do get the two awesome alternate head sculpts and then we also get a necro energy effect and knife and then we do get an awesome gun so for the energy energy effect here this thing turned out really dope i know each figure is included with a different type of energy effect but i love the green translucent plastic and the sculpt of it looks fantastic and right here they have it pegged so you could have them grip onto it with the uh, gripping hands there so we do get that and then we do get the knife here which looks pretty dope as well very cool looking so we do get those dope accessories and then we do get this freaking sick gun man this thing looks incredible love the wash all throughout it the gold looks great very nice job on this gun here man this thing is so damn sick the main thing McFarland toys is just incredible at is uh sculpt and paint detail with their figures uh, most of the time he he does a kick-ass job when it comes to that so we do get that awesome stuff and then we finally get six alternate hands and starting on the top right here we do get a pair of open hands which do come on the figure out of the packaging and these are definitely my favorite out of all the hands here then we do get a pair of gripping hands and you can see the thumb is molded together to the fingers there and you could have them grip on to the necro energy effect or the knife or the other end of the gun with those hands and then finally we do get a pair of trigger finger hands which we do see a lot with McFarlane toys figures but they did a fantastic job with the paint and sculpt detail on all six hands and they are extremely simple to swap out as well and like what Daredevil 18 always says that is a good thing because you don't want to risk breaking a wrist joint on your new Kickstarter spawn figure because that wouldn't be a good thing, because it is a Kickstarter. Hopefully they made replacements, just in case. But anyway, that is all the dope accessories included with Al Simmons. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review, shall we? Now, for the height of Spawn to the very top of his head, he stands about 7 inches and a quarter of an inch tall. And then here he is compared to the McFarlane Toys MK11 Spawn, the Spawn Movie Clown, the Spawn Movie Violator, and Mount Bulger. And I think he scales well with these figures here. And then here he is compared to the Storm Collectibles MK3 Sub-Zero, the NECA Original Movie Team and T. Raphael, the NECA Ultimate Edition City Hunter Predator, and the NECA Convention Exclusive Batman. And then here he is compared to the Storm Collectibles Sector, the Marvel Legends Retro Series Deadpool, the Mafex Justice League Batman, and the Figma Black Swordsman Guts. And then here he is compared to the ESH Figure Arts Awaken Warrior Super Saiyan Goku and the Mezco 112 Deadpool. Anyway, there's some quick comparisons. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review. So now for the articulation, the cape does hinge back, as you can see there. Also hinges forward or in. We do get two joints at the neck, and as I mentioned, the neck is sculpted off on an angle, so you can't really get proper articulation out of it, but you can get Spawn to look down that much. Looks up about that much, then you do see that gap there. Pivots to the left, which it's kind of permanently posed like that almost. It can go to the right, but then you see all this, which is really ugly, so you probably don't want to pose the neck pivoting to the right, and then of course it does swivel as well. Waist goes forward about that much, goes back about that much. Very nice pivot, as you can see there, and then of course it does swivel. The arms only go out to the sides that much, it gets hindered by this piece of the cape. Up only that much, and then back down. We do have true bicep swivel, and then we also have swivel at the elbow joint there. And then the elbows bend in almost 90 degrees, they're, they're just shy of hitting 90. Then we do get a hinge and a swivel at the wrists legs kick forward almost 90 degrees go to the back a tiny bit he can definitely Jean-Claude Van Damme it and then we do get a, a nice hip swivel up there double jointed knees that pretty much bend back all the way then the ankles well we do have a swivel here and then there's another swivel on the right leg here but none of that is on the left leg so you don't get any lower leg or thigh swivel with this leg but this 
leg doesn't really have a good hip swivel. This one does have a good hip swivel. Then we do get swivel at the ankles. They hinge up really well, hinge down really well, and then you get an excellent ankle pivot there. This foot is going to be restricted because of that big spiked boot piece, and then we do have a nice toe hinge. So overall, the articulation it really isn't too bad on this figure. It's just it gets restricted by the cape there, and just the big boot restricts the left ankle movement, so it's kind of hard to do certain poses with this figure. You can't really do too much, but I will show you what type of poses you can get them into right about now. But anyway, that is my review of the McFarlane Toys Kickstarter Modern Spawn. Hope you enjoyed it. If I had to rate this figure with detail, would easily give it a perfect 10. Articulation, I'd just give it a 5. Accessories, I'd give it an 8.5. And then the overall quality, I'd also give an 8.5. If you would like to know the price more to buy this figure, you did have to back this with Todd McFarlane's Kickstarter. So your only choice is really eBay or something like that. But if you want to get your other figures and collectibles, you can go to hlsgeeks.com. And when you check out, use code name Daredevil and you will get yourself a bit of a discount if you can't find something on their website i do highly recommend going through their instagram or facebook page i will put more information in the description below and if you would like to support the channel don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell and if you liked it feel free to give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it oh well i guess you didn't like it but thanks for watching i will see you later And Malbolgia. Malbolgia. Bah. And Necroplasm. And starting on the right here, we do get a pair of open hands, which are my favorite. Da -ba -da. Da -ba -da 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 -da.